to be with trekking pole or to not be with trekking pole? That is the question, and I'm here to help you answer that. So guys, today we're at uh, Camp Catawba Park. We're going to talk trekking poles. Uh, I've been here before playing frisbee golf, so check out my link in the card. You can see that great outdoor activity. But yeah, trekking poles is what we're going to talk about today. Now, trekking poles aren't for everybody, uh, but today maybe I can help you figure out whether they're for you or not. So let's uh, let's go check these ones that I've got out. All right, guys, so uh, I'll introduce you to the uh, trekking poles that I have. All right, these are the Trail Buddy gear. Okay, I got these off of Amazon, and if you look in the description, I'll show you a link. Uh, these have turned out to be real nice. You know, I was a little bit leery about ordering off of Amazon, but uh, hey, I got these, and I put them to use, and they've really helped me out. All right, guys, so we'll start up here at the handle. Okay, and when you put these on, there's a certain way that you're supposed to do them. Okay, you want to reach up from underneath. Okay, and then when you come down to grip it, you're going to let your strap come right here in between the webbing, between your thumb and this first finger. Okay, and then you're going to establish your grip. Okay, and that's how you want to grip them every time. That way, okay, if I'm hiking and I need to adjust something. Okay, I can just drop them. I got full use of my hand. Okay, establish my grip again, and I'm back to hiking. <clears throat> All right, so we'll start up here at the handle. Uh, they make these handles out of a, a bunch of different uh, materials. This one here is cork. Now, I like cork, okay, because on a hot day when your hand is real sweaty, you know, it will absorb that. Okay, you won't get any uh, blisters. Uh, it doesn't really, you know, it's a good insulator, okay, so on cold days it stays warm. Uh, they also make these out of rubber, okay. Now rubber, to me, when it's really hot and you get sweaty and your hands move around on it, uh, I would think that you could probably get a blister, okay. I don't think I would like that as much. Uh, they also make them out of foam, but you know how foam is. Uh, foam tends to tear, so I don't know if I like that. Now, construction of it itself, this one is made out of aluminum. All right, total weight for this is 10.2 ounces, okay? And that's with the mud basket down here and the rubber tip on it. Uh, the length, it can go anywhere from 24 and a half inches to 54 inches when fully extended. Okay, so when you got this thing retracted, okay, 24 and a half inches, okay? You can mount this to your pack or anything. You know, pretty easy to store, so good to go. All right, now, when you set these up, okay, you wanna take this bottom one, you wanna extend it all the way out to where it says stop, okay? Then, just go ahead and extend this one out and loosen it. And what I wanna do is I wanna push it down to my forearm, it's parallel to the ground, and then I'm going to go ahead and lock that in, and now I'm set up, and now I'm ready to go hiking. All right, so, we've got the handle, we've got the carrying strap, okay, we've got the main shaft here, we've got these cam locks here, okay, I can lock this in, okay, that way it holds its length the way I want it to. All right, now down here at the bottom, we've got what we call a mud basket. I'll show you a snow basket here after a while. This mud basket... You can imagine if I'm trekking through mud that keeps my pole from going too deep into the mud okay the snow basket is a little bit bigger so obviously use it uh, when you're hiking in snow all right this tip here on the end comes off okay the tip that I have on here right now is the rubber tip okay this is pretty much a uh, for any terrain okay whether you're hiking on trails hiking on the road or whatever. This is the one that I usually leave on it. Now you can see you got a carbon tip 
okay this can be used in ice okay so you can uh, get down into that ice and get yourself some good traction okay and there's also one uh, if you look at the picture here it's called the uh, shoe tip okay the shoe tip covers a little bit bigger area and it's good for uh, use when you're just hiking on paved trails gravel and stuff like that so those are the different kind of tips that you can use on it all right guys so uh, let's do some walking and I'll show you some other things and some of them are even more fancy dancy than this one some of them actually have a spring up inside the handle okay that acts as a shock absorber so who would have thunk that uh, so much thought were put into these To be with trekking poles or to not be with trekking poles? That's the question. So let's talk about some reasons why you might want to trek with poles. Now, today I'm hiking and I got my pack on, okay? So I got a little bit more weight than usual. That weight wants to shift around, okay? And trekking poles will help you maintain your balance a little bit better when you are packing some weight, okay? And it also takes, it helps distribute some of the weight, okay? I've got a lot more weight on my back today, so instead of putting all that weight on my legs, okay, when you're using trekking poles, you can shift that weight, okay, to your arms and to your shoulders. You probably notice sometimes when you're packing all that weight, uh, it wants to shift back and forth, okay? And that can throw off your balance. So, with the trekking pole, you can help maintain your stability and balance. When you're using them properly, okay, they can be used to propel you, okay, forward, okay, as a propulsion tool, okay, especially, man, when you're going up those big hills and your body is just saying no, okay, it gives you that little bit of push. And sometimes I'm telling you, man, that's what I need is a little push. When you're going up a hill, you can use them to help propel you up that hill gives you something to lean on okay when you're going up now when you're going down the hill you know sometimes that hill may be really steep and wants to take you a lot faster than you want to go so you can use these to kind of hold you up and keep your balance as you're going down there's going to be those times when you're hiking when you come up on some water okay maybe it's a stream a creek or a big old puddle but whatever it is uh, you might want to check or maybe it's some mud uh, You might want to check and see how deep it is before you step in it That's what makes the trekking pole so awesome. I can stick this in here All right, I can see exactly how deep it is. I can do that. I Got a feeling if I try to walk across this so I'm gonna get wet All right another tool uh, you're walking down the trail and you run into an obstruction So you're coming up on it this old twig's in my way. Just use my stick, move it right out of the way, walk right past it. Another thing I like to use it for is when I'm first one on the trail in the morning, there's always tons of spider webs. And I like to use it out in front of me to clear those spider webs out of the way. So, another thing that you can use a trekking pole for is in a, an emergency situation man when your belly's growling and you're so hungry like i need some food so you can go out and catch some fish <laughs> man now that's a hog man that's gonna make a good meal I don't eat a lot of fish myself. I usually turn them back. You can check out some of my fishing shows up in the card and you'll see that. But anyway, I'm thinking maybe I want something else to eat. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take off this rubber end here. I got my spear tip. So let's see if maybe we can get some wild game.
Got him. All right, guys. So, I mean, so many things you can use them for. Move a snake off the trail. Clear spider webs with it. Uh, you know, maybe you can hunt, fish with it. I showed you that. But, you know, also, you know, you might need it to defend yourself. You know, maybe there's a bear, some kind of wild animal, you know, that attacks you. Who knows what kind of crazy thing Hey, other navigator. Oh, no, it's a crazy fan. Get, get. You can't have my autograph. Get out of here. Wait a minute. You're Hunter Boy 40. Why are we fighting? I don't, I have no idea. All right, so wow. That's a pretty long list of things that trek and posts are useful for. So, why would you not want to have one? Something else you have to carry? That's all I got. So, you know, for me, I love them, okay? Now, you may have your reasons why you don't like them, uh, but like I told you in the beginning, to be or not to be, okay you can listen to all the things that are brought up maybe have your own uh ideas but uh you know when it really comes down to it it's what you're comfortable with and what makes you happy okay when you go out for a hike you don't have to sit there and critique yourself the whole time like i should have done this i should have done that or whatever you come outside to enjoy nature and that's what it's all about trekking poles they help they help my trip be a little bit more enjoyable okay like i told you they give me that propulsion i need sometimes to go up that hill when i'm packing a lot of weight they help with my balance and stability when i'm crossing creeks okay i use them when i'm going across the log to keep me from falling in and getting wet or getting hurt uh, i've used mine to coax the snake off the trail before big old copper head if you look up in the link uh my trip to van hook falls is when i ran into him so i used my trekking pole to get him off the trail and there's just a lot of uses some people use them uh, to set up their shelter halves okay set up shelter sometimes you can use it as just a prop stick for your camera uh, you can stick it behind you when you're sitting on the ground and just use it as a prop stick to keep you up when you want to take a rest so you know just a lot of things you can use them for they're light uh i don't know i'm biased i love them i used to hike without them when i was in the military and a lot of those hikes were miserable and man if they would have just issued me a trekking pole i bet those road marches would have been a lot better nope so anyway guys uh hope you got some good information off this video if you did hit that like button if you haven't subscribed yet hit subscribe because i'm going to do more reviews i'm going to get outside show you some trails so show you some camping spots show you some places to fish okay all kinds of things outdoors so i invite you to come back uh, but most of all i want you to navigate yourself outdoors and i'll see you in the next episode peace